Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is exactly how I see software development. And this is not just an analogy, this is exactly how I see that. To me, software development is a lot like wrestling in the mud with a pig. And when you do that, you start realizing quite quickly that the pig just loves it. And to make it clear, the pig is the software here. These are not the developers out there, sometimes at least. Now, when this is software development, guys, the question is, what the heck is then software testing? Well, then software testing is all about washing that pig, right? And that can be messy, because it usually has no rules, no clear beginning, no clear middle, and no clear end. And sometimes, honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Because when you're done, you're not even sure if the pig is really clean, or why you were even washing the pig in the first place. Now, guys, let's see how we wash that pig. Let's see how we test software. And now I need your imagination. Imagine that this rectangle represents your software product. It represents the entire functional and non-functional spectrum of your software. So that's all there is. That's all you could possibly know about your software. Now, the green rectangle represents all what you currently know about your software product. And this rectangle is apparently smaller than the previous one, because I'm at least convinced that you will never be able to always know everything down to the very last detail about your software. Now, the red rectangle represents all what you repeatedly check, for example, through test automation in your software. And again, this rectangle is smaller than the previous one because I am convinced that you will never be able to check everything at any time in your software. And here the question is, well, would it even make sense to do that? Would it even make sense to aim, to codify, to automate all your knowledge? Well, most people would say, yes, that's the ultimate goal, right? But I'm saying no. Because if you would solely aim to codify all your knowledge, then how on earth would you be able to create new knowledge? And you have to create new knowledge about your software because your software constantly grows. And so you need to constantly increase the knowledge about your software to reveal problems that are far, far outside your checking regime, guys. And this is exactly what testing is about. Testing is all about closing this knowledge gap. It's all about closing the gap between what we know and what we don't know about our software. So the goal of testing is information, not automation, guys. And the reason for this is simple. A test is just a question you ask your software. And the point of running the test is to gain information. And so testing is, always has been, and always will be a search for information. But don't get me wrong, the information sought requires often automation, but not always. Now, here's the proof, guys. Now, imagine that these dots represent all the test cases in your regression test portfolio. And now imagine that all these test cases pass in the last regression test run before you decide to ship your product into production. And then you might conclude, well, that looks good, right? Ship it. Ship our software products. And that is what you then most probably will do. But just a second later, you will see something like this, right? <laughs> you will see that repetitive test case execution is by far not enough to see that iceberg coming, guys. So the question that arises now is, how do we avoid scenarios like this? So what does it take to do good testing? Well, guys, good testing takes the ability to pose useful questions, to observe what's going on, to describe what you perceive, to understand what you observe. Good testing takes the ability to interpret what you find, to draw the right conclusions fast, to think critically about what you know, to know that you will never know everything, to keep thinking despite already knowing, to focus on things you don't know, to target specific issues without losing focus. Good testing takes the ability to recognize and manage bias, to form and test conjectures, to jump on those conjectures, not just on conclusion, guys. Good testing takes the ability to reflect on your decisions, to consider alternatives, to scrutinize illusions you're holding true, guys. It takes the ability to analyze someone else's thinking, to reason about cause and effect. And good testing, guys, takes the most important ability, the ability to learn how to learn. And this is what makes a good tester hard to fool, guys. And this is what makes a tester cautious, curious, and critical. And this is what makes good testing, guys. So I can safely conclude that the, the good testers out there are simply the Peter Pans of the human race, because they never lose their holy curiosity to find anything that might threaten the value of our software products. Thank you so much, guys.